Nearly 99.9% of women or even young ladies when they see a strange thing or an occurrence in their vaginal area, they become scared. And today, we want to discuss about battling cyst and battling abscess. And in this very, very video, we are going to describe what they are and signs and symptoms occurring from battling cyst or battling abscess and how we can manage this particular condition. Stay with me until the end of this video. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, hit the notification bell, return subscribe, turn it on for more videos that we will post. For us to understand how battling abscess or battling cyst occur, let us look at the external genitalia of female reproductive system. We have the labia minora, we have the labia majora, we have the clitoris, we have the mons pubis, and down there we have uh, the anus, and in between the labias we have what we call Bartholin gland, and this is the area of specialization in terms of this video of today. Uh, Bartholin gland is normally located at around 4 o'clock or 8 o'clock uh, bilaterally, that is both sides of the labia minora, and it is having a shape of cowpea or even pea size shape and normally it is not palpable, you cannot feel it, you cannot see it with the naked eye. And in this relation, we find that uh, that location of 4 o'clock or 8 o'clock, uh, we mean that if we are looking at uh, the, we are looking at the vagina and uh, we verify that by looking at the vagina at this particular uh, area of anatomy. So view this in relation to the vagina and we mean this is the 8 o'clock and this is the 4 o'clock. And majorly uh, this particular organ, the Bartholin gland, play a very important role in lubricating the vagina in terms of the time when a woman is having sexual intercourse, when a woman is aroused, this particular Bartholin gland normally secretes fluids uh, to lubricate the distal parts of the vagina during sexual intercourse, thereby preventing uh, friction during sexual intercourse. And in this scenario, we'll find that this particular gland, which is located at 4, 8 o'clock, can be occluded or even blocked and when it is blocked, those fluid that normally, uh, it normally secretes will uh, fill that particular area and it will start swelling and it will form what we call a cyst. I have described what a cyst is in my last video when I was talking of ovarian cyst. If you have not watched that video of ovarian cyst, kindly click the link that appears up here about ovarian cyst. Now, when this cyst is formed, uh, I'm just, well, I just want to tell you how a cyst looks like. Uh, a cyst is a fluid-filled sac, which is uh, very soft, sometimes firm. And in this relation of uh, this video, in terms of Bartholin cyst, normally when they swell, they don't uh, bring any problem. Uh, women don't normally complain, only if they become enlarged and they start uh, creating some problems in terms of uh, frictions or in terms of pain while having sex and this normally occurs because of an infection that uh, can take place when uh, this particular uh, cyst is infected majorly by uh, sexually transmitted infection like uh, Neisseria gonorrhoeae or Chlamydia trichomanis and also Escherichia coli when uh, H influenza can even uh, result into this. Even the organism Streptococcus or Staphylococcal infection can uh, bombard this particular cyst and it will swell and be very, very painful. So when a woman is uh, practicing sex or during coitus, there is pain while having coitus. There might be fever because of those bacterial infection. That particular area uh, may become very red and hyperemic. We mean it can even um, start bleeding if it's uh, if it bursts. So uh, this particular cyst, uh, when it's it's infected, it will become what we call abscess. 
the fluid that was filled inside here will form pus and this particular pus will be very very tender very very painful and sometimes it may even leak uh, it may even leak uh, it may even due to pressure uh, this one uh, this is what can occur when this particular uh, cyst uh, form abscess and thereby burst and it normally leaks so a woman sometimes might leak pass uh, from her reproductive system from her vagina and this one can be so uh, irritating so in this particular uh, context uh, this particular abscess can be infected and it can start even smelling and the woman can even have pain while passing this particular uh, uh, passing urine normally cysts do not uh, cause problem when they are developing they are painless but now when they are infected they start bringing problems in terms of pain or even lower abdominal discomfort and now the woman can even have that uh, the woman can develop cannot develop that feeling of having sexual intercourse because of that particular abscess and majorly if it is occluded bilaterally meaning when it occludes even the four or eight o'clock it can even block the whole vaginal area and now this one can bring a, a complications affecting the other parts of the urinary system particularly the urethra even the organism can ascend and affect even the bladder and now the woman will start feeling uh, intense lower abdominal pain now how can we manage this particular condition uh, Bartholin gland uh, when it forms a cyst and when it forms an uh, abscess of course now we may introduce antibiotics particularly we know the major cause of abscess are bacterial infection and there are uh, broad spectrum antibiotics that we may introduce uh, to this particular woman but there are some procedures that we want to talk about that can be performed in this particular lady so that uh, this particular abscess to go away or this particular cyst that is causing problem uh, to regress or to be uh, managed very very well the first Thank procedure you. is what we call masculization whereby this one is done under theater and it's done under general anesthesia there's vertical incision that is made by a gynecologist or a surgeon to drain the pus and thereby after that there's a sutures that will be made and there's a place that will be left for more abscess to drain and it can go ahead and perform which we call ward catheter that after that incision there is a catheter there's a tube that will be left in situ to help this particular uh, abscess to drain out of the Sometimes blood. this particular cyst may reoccur so we may decide to remove the whole gland this is called gland excision so that we prevent this particular recurrence of this uh, bartholin cyst well equipped hospital we have what we call carbon dioxide laser treatment whereby high quality of electrical lasers are introduced in that particular uh, cyst or that particular abscess to help it to drain outside and this one will require uh, electricity home remedies that we can use to help this particular patient uh, we can introduce painkillers that is non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs like brufen, ketoprofen, indomethacin or we can also uh, prescribe other drugs like tramadol, paracetamol particularly when the patient is suffering from or confirmed peptic ulcer disease also uh, this particular lady can do what we call sits bath that is sitting on the uh, saline water for around 30 minutes to help uh, to make the abscess to be soft and burst by itself and drain by itself sometimes uh, you can use a piece of cotton with uh, hot water and then compress that particular cyst or that particular abscess and this is mainly uh, rel relieving pain when you combine it with uh, pain relievers. Prevention of this particular uh, problem that is Bartholin cyst or Bartholin uh, abscess is that we should practice safe sex. As you can see, one of the causes of this particular uh, condition is sexually transmitted infection. Also, we should avoid as much as possible not to dodge 
our vagina. Those people who normally, those women who normally dodge their vaginas with vinegars or vaginal dodges, thereby interfering with the uh, normal flora of the vagina. This one will affect you and it might result in Bartholin abscess. If you have not watched my video about smelling vagina or causes of smelling vagina or types of smelling vagina, kindly click the video that appears up here so that you are well conversant with how you can manage a uh, smell arising from your vagina. Otherwise, thank you so much my loyal subscribers and my loyal watchers who have been uh, supporting this channel and those who have not subscribed. If you are new here, there's a subscription button, rate and subscribe, hit it hard, turn it on for more videos that will post. Muchas gracias.